Hi, and welcome to the overview for MBA 512 Business Planning and Strategic Management for the summer 2019. So in this video, I'm going to review how this class is going to work online, what your responsibilities are, and a good methodology for navigating the course. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow, you, follow this menu path in order today and go over the significance of each button. So the first button is announcements. So announcements is important because this gives you a reminder or a heads up about important information of the class. And the first thing you should do is read over all the current announcements under announcements. So the first announcement I place is six things you should do first. So the first thing is to read the syllabus from the menu bar and review our class objectives. The second thing is to see assignments, um, to understand the case study homework assignments that will be due. The third is to, to view the discussion. So in the menu tab, we have a discussion uh, board that we're going to be working with in class with various topics. Four, see Zoom simulation on the menu tab and register to play. Five, watch the Getting Started video, which you're doing right now. And six, I suggest you subscribe to the playlist for the course on YouTube. YouTube will house all our videos for the course. Okay. So the next announcement is welcome to MBA 512, what you're going to work on each week. So I have outlined for each week, for the six weeks, the chapters and the video lectures and the homework that you'll be reading, watching, and working on for each week, weeks one through six. So you should review this to get an idea of what the course work, workload is. Uh, the next announcement is about the Zoom simulation. So this is a business simulation that focuses on strategy. And you're going to register for the simulation, click on class competition, use this class code to join the current class, and you're going to create a team. Now you may work in teams as small as just one person or up to three people. So if you want to work alone by yourself as a team of one, you may do that. If you want to work with one or two other students, you may do that as well. The assignment is 15 points. I have posted a, a separate getting started video for the simulation. And this video was recorded a year and a half ago. So please ignore it if there's any specific information about another class. Uh, this is really just giving an overview of how the simulation works. And we will be running six rounds. Each of the dates, due dates for each of the rounds are posted here. So by 11.30 on these nights, you need to have your round finished and completed so I can process it and analyze the results. Your goal is to earn over 2,500 points. So a good way to make sure you're able to do that is to run a few practice games. So you can run solo individual practice to see, um, get an idea of how well you'll do in the simulation. So that way when you participate in the classroom competition, you'll have a better idea of what you need to do to get the 25 points to get the full score for the project. And at the very bottom, I have another video of what not to do in the simulation. So there are two videos embedded in this message. Okay. And then also a, a note about case study citation styles and examples. So I give some websites down here to learn how to cite properly in, when giving examples and citing data and information from articles. Okay, so let's move up. Those are the announcements. Let's move to the syllabus. So I'm going to click the menu tab for syllabus. And here we, um, I want you to know that this is an asynchronous course, which means I will post videos, lectures, documents, tests, and assignments that you'll have access to um, anytime, day or night. So you can decide what time of the day is best for you to work. You just have to complete your assignments by the due dates. Uh, and this includes the discussion boards where I expect you to participate um, hopefully at least four days a week in the discussion boards. And a, a participation could be creating an original post and rep or replying to another student's post. So you can create one original and three replies would be the four posts you need per week. Now the course description that we're going to be looking at different strategies companies regularly use that managers deploy to help develop awareness of how the company uh, is going to pursue its goals. So our learning goals in the class is to gain an understanding of the factors to consider when doing strategic planning, what a company should do, uh, to, um, and what they need to learn to apply analytical and planning tools to develop corporate strategy. 
Uh, specifically, we're going to be exploring the groups of people who have an interest in business and what business does, how the success of the business is measured, how to identify capabilities and capitalize on key strengths of each, of each business, how businesses develop and maintain competitive advantage to one another, and identify and analyze factors that are critical to the success of businesses, and looking at their strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats, and how to apply analytical tools to formulate a strategy. So we're going to accomplish our learning goals by reading textbooks. We have two textbooks for the class. And we're going to cover most chapters during the semester. Also, we're going to be use a lot, utilizing an online business simulation, a Zoom simulation, to reinforce strategic thinking and strategic planning. And the simulation, um, you will form a company and you'll be asked to make uh, decisions that are going to require strategic thinking to do well in the marketplace. And we're also going to utilize case studies to apply real world examples to strategy. So class time is really what you make it. So you decide when you want to watch the lectures, when you want to read the textbook, when you want to work on the case studies and the other homework assignments, including the discussion boards. As long as you get your work done before the due dates, you can, you know, you can set your schedule as you want to. Now, the first book is Strategic Management Theory and Practice, the fifth edition. So this is by John Purnell and the book here's a web link to get to the book It's an inexpensive book it's a summarized book perfect for a summer class um, a secondary book we're going to use is the blue ocean strategy and the blue ocean strategy is a textbook that is about more forward-thinking innovative strategy okay so assignments will be posted on blackboard your grades are the following so participation in the discussion boards are going to be 18 points or three week three points per week the many cases you work on will be 30 points, uh, with most cases being about five points. In most cases, should be you should write two to four pages to complete the case. There's an online exam for 37 points, and the Zoom simulation is 15 points, and that's how you get to your 100 points, and this is how your points translate into a letter grade. So the test will be, there's only one test, and it'll be a final exam. The test will be online, and the test will be based on material from the textbooks. Uh, later in announcements, I'll post the times of the exam in, uh, for you and more details about the exam. The form of the exam will be short, um, short answer, multiple choice uh, types of questions. And I'll give you two days to complete it. Uh, so the, the, the link to the final exam will be in, in, in assignments uh, on the day of the exam. But I'll post an announcement as to when the exam is and the times and everything. Okay, so participation is gonna be counted by your posts that you make in the discussion board. If you don't post anything to the discussion board for the week, you will lose the three points of participation for that week. So you wanna make sure that you actively read and participate in the discussion board so you don't lose any points in this area. Okay. And again, here I outline the six weeks of what we'll be working on, what chapters you'll be reading, and the main videos to be watching for the class. Okay, so that's the strategy. Here I made a nice, easy link to the strategy textbook. So you click on this link, and it'll, and it'll pull up the website where you can purchase the textbook, and the online ebook is only $39. So it's easy to get the, that's the main textbook. Now, there's also a Blue Ocean textbook. I just had to update the menu path. So below the strategy textbook, you'll see a Blue Ocean textbook. So you click on this link, and it'll take you to Amazon, where you can order the Blue Ocean. It's a mass market book, and you can get this for as little as $21 if you buy it new, or $18 if you want to buy on Kindle. Okay. The third menu button here is Class Video YouTube. So you click on here, it will take you to the YouTube uh, playlist for the course. And I have 21 videos that I created for this course to take us through what we're going to be watching in this course. So if I also embed the YouTube links in the weekly schedule, so you can either find the links there or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and this playlist to, to easily see all of the videos. And it makes it easier if you're gonna watch two videos in a row, one just plays after the other. So I highly recommend that you subscribe to that playlist. And the link is right here. So I make it very easy 
to find both textbooks and the YouTube uh, lecture videos. Okay, thirdly is course documents. We, cl we click on cl course documents and I have an example, case study, student example of a PDF. Uh, this one is based on uh, an older case from McDonald's. And how we basically work the cases is you state the question I ask and then you answer the question um, below. Now, this case, the student wrote quite a bit for each of the questions, which is there's no limit on how much you can write. Write as much as you need to answer the question. Embedding graphics is fine. Uh, make sure, though, if you quote, if you quote something, you need to cite it. So if you're going to quote a fact or, or information from another source, you must cite that information properly by using um, the author and the year of the citation. At the end of your paper, you need to have a reference list give, showing me all the references of all of the authors you cited within your paper. Okay, so that's just an example of that. Here we have the PowerPoints for the strategic management text. So I have all the PowerPoints for the strategic management text, as well as the PowerPoints I've created for the Blue Ocean text as well. Uh, and there's, I also have the end of chapter answers to practice for the true and false and multiple choice questions that are in each of the chapters. So if you're using the chapter textbook and you're working through the true and false and multiple choice end of chapter questions, which is a really good, good idea to do that because some of these questions may also show up on the final exam. Okay, so that's what's in course documents. Now let's get to assignments. So in assignments we have, of course, I'm outlining the discussion board where I say the value of it is 18 points and I will set up six discussion boards, one per week. Each discussion board is worth three points. Uh, and I expect when you post your responses and replies that they're significant. It should be at least 100 to 200 words. I think, you know, an original response is at least 200 words and replies should be closer to 100 words. So you earn points in the quality of your replies. Replying thank you or replying good post is not going to count. So you need to make posts of significant value to earn the discussion. But more on the discussion boards a little bit later. Okay, so moving to the weekly cases, you see that week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and week six, we have a set of cases. So each, each week, I will ask you to read the case at the end of the chapter for the Purnell Strategic Management Textbook. So if you look at the end of the chapters that we're working on that week, so you'll find at the end of chapter one, at the end of chapter two, you'll find a case on Costco and a case on Home Depot. And I've listed three questions for you to answer. So what you do is you, you read over the cases and then you answer these questions in a Word document. And when I have the instructions down here, hand in the case questions online by clicking the link above, attach the file to browse my computer button, keep a backup copy, and make sure your name is at the top of the assignment. So when I open the file, I know who is submitting it to me. So you can save it as a Word or PDF file. So you just click on this link above here. See this week one case is you click on that link and then you will see that there's a rubric for the case. And there's also, this is where you would attach the case, browse my computer. So you click that and attach your file. And you can also view the rubric when this rubric is how I grade your case. So I grade it <clears throat> poor, below average, average or above average. So the paper, you know, I look at the paper is well organized, well presented, strong visual appeal, good formatting, grammar, headings, easy to follow. The research was outstanding. Um, the research was thorough and more than three sources. So what I mean here is that this case, the back of the book is just the beginning. When you answer these questions, I'm hoping that you'll go out, search other articles, search other information about the company to help fill out your questions that you're answering. So if you're pulling information from other articles or other books or textbooks, you need to cite them and that becomes part of your outstanding search. I also want to make sure that when you cite, you cite appropriately. So you're using ASE, APA, or MLA. Look for the announcements where I give web links and how to properly cite using these formats. So I want to make sure that you're not just paraphrasing or cutting um, posts on the internet. If you're taking information from another source or a magazine or the case itself, you need to cite it and, and include it in your reference list. 
So also, next up, the writing was interesting, engaging, professional, grammatically correct. It flowed well. The answers are logical. And then lastly, all topics requested in the assignment were thoroughly covered. So all questions were covered. And you made an excellent use of space with no fluff or fillers, but you really supported your ideas and your concepts. So this is the matrix you're going to use as your guidepost to how I'm going to grade your case. And again, I also restate the questions in here um, for when you submit. Okay. And then each week we will have a set of cases to work on that has a very clear due date. And it looks like that I'm going to be looking for you to submit the cases every Sunday uh, from week one to week six. Okay. So that's important that you keep up on that casework. Now, next up, let's look at the Zoom simulation. So we, we click here on the Zoom simulation and it will open up the website. And this is where you need to register as a student. So you register as a student, you fill out the proper registration, uh, you, take it through, uh, you take it through your steps and you, there's a, a payment step as well. And then you create your username and password for the simulation. And once you've done that, then you can either uh, work alone or work with other students if you know other students who are in the class or if you want to post a message on the discussion board you can ask if anybody wants to work with you or you can work by yourself and then you just have to make sure you keep track of the due dates of each of the rounds and you complete a round as before the due date once everybody completes say round one i'll process it i'll review the results create a video for you to review the results of the class and then you move forward from there uh, and again, if you look under announcements, there is a more detailed explanation plus videos to show you how to work, how to do well in the simulation. Okay. Now, lastly, uh, oh, also, if you're going to going to work at these cases, I suggest going to the library resources. And in here, you can search for articles, journals, books. So if the first case is on Costco, you can put Costco in as a, as a keyword search and then it'll go through all the databases that the school has to offer you for free and give you a bunch of information so here's a costco swat analysis and you could refine your search by putting in other terms along with costco that'd be more related to the the, the case that you're currently working on okay and that's how you can build up additional sources for your case by simply using the library resources. And the library has a number of databases that you can call information from to help you, as well as your normal uh, go-tos like searching Google and things like that. Okay, so lastly, let's, let's discuss the discussion boards. So this is a big assignment area, so you click on here. Now the first discussion board are class questions. So if you click on here, what you want to do is... Um, this is the normal state where we'll say create thread subscribe. So you should subscribe. So that way, anytime a student or I post a, um, a message in here, you, you will be able to uh, get an email notification. So you can create a thread and you can say, um, need a team mate. Okay, so I post a little um, thread here and it says need a teammate for Zoom. So you click on here and it says post here if you'd like to find a teammate for the Zoom simulation. You can always work alone if you like. So that's just an example of something a student can post in here to communicate to me and other students. Okay, moving back. Besides the class questions where you're free to ask any questions that you think will be helpful to the majority of the class, I don't recommend posting any personal or private information here. You can email that type of thing to me directly. So let's move on to discussion question week one. So you see where it says click here? This is where we would click to complete the first discussion question. So what it says here, what company do you think has the best strategy? Why? Describe and explain. What is their strategy? Give details. 
what makes their strategy better than compet uh, competition, competitors, I should write. Uh, two rules, please don't use Apple as your company, plea, and don't repeat any other student's example. So, and also rate each other's posts. There'll be a rating system where you can rate each other's posts from one to five. So you wanna make one post, um, and then you wanna make at least two replies. That's the bare minimum. I suggest making four replies, I'm sorry, one original post and then at least three replies just in case one of your, your replies isn't sufficient. That way it just doubly guarantees you'll get the full points for the week. Now, you should post, I'm looking for you to post your original response Monday through Wednesday to give people a chance to read it and then reply to other students' posts Wednesday through Saturday. So when you click on here, you'll see that there's a post already posted. So, so you can click in here and see the post. So here's a student's post on Zappos as they're describing the company, what they believe their strategy is, and they cited a source. Uh, and in here, you could you can rate this post. So I'm gonna rate it five stars. Now, this is anonymous, but it does help me and other students to recognize the quality of their posting. So if you're getting low stars, you know that you should step your game up. Uh, so this is nice instant feedback from peers as well as me. And then you could re click reply here if you want to reply and ask questions or give supplemental information to this person's uh, uh, original post. And that's, that is, so your replies only count when you reply to other students' posts. You're replying, if someone posts a reply on your original and you reply to that student, that doesn't count as a reply. The replies that count are only when you post in other students' posts. Okay, so that would be an example of what I'm looking for when you're creating a discussion board post. When you're ready to create a discussion board post, you wanna go, of course, go into the discussion board, and then you wanna click on Create Thread. So you click on Create Thread, and you could say, I would like it if you put your name first, and then the topic. Let's see, what is the topic? Best strategy, or you could just put your company, something like that. And then you, in the text box here, you fill out your post. I'm just writing gibberish to kind of show you, blah, 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 blah. Fill out your post, and then you want to hit submit. So now the post is submitted. So I would also recommend to go into your post and you know monitor it often um, to see if people have made replies to your post or not. You can subscribe to your post, click on subscribe. So that way, if anybody, it's a good idea if you that you subscribe to your own original post. So if anybody replies, including me, you'll be able to get an email message and you can reply to them pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete my post. And this is great because here you can see the student name, the company, and that's really a good format moving forward when you create your posts. Okay, so let me just go back. So I know that here on assignments, that I recommend that, to at least make one post and two replies. And then you'll notice that in the syllabus, I say, um, I want you to uh, post, not, uh, not post, but I want you to, yeah, post to discussion boards and I, I should say, I want you to read or post the discussion boards um, four days a week. So let me rephrase that. Because I want you to be not just, think how selfish it would be if you just go in on Saturday, make your original post, and then make your two replies. So here, students uh, must connect to the Blackboard and, and read or post to the discussion board at least four days a week. So you don't have to post, um, you don't have to make a written post every time you log into the discussion board. Sometimes you can simply go in and just read. So let me submit that. Because sometimes people say, when I say four days a week, they think I want, you have to make four posts and you don't have to make four posts. Uh, the minimum is one original 
answer said or post, and then three, and then two replies um, to those questions. Okay, just making sure that that's clear. Let's go back to the discussions. Now, I do recommend making three replies just to be on the safe side to make sure that in case one of your replies is deemed insufficient, you don't lose points. So it's always good to over participate to make sure you're gonna get all the points. And each week, say in week two, and you can work ahead if you wanna post your original post early, you, you're free to do that. Each week I try to leave examples of what, your, what a good post should look like. So you get an idea again of the thread, of the formatting of the thread, and then also two examples, one or two examples of what a good post could look like to really help you to um, develop your engagement in the discussion board more thoroughly. All right, so that's pretty much the entire class in a nutshell. So I just wanted to produce this video for you to give you a really clear understanding of what is expected you, of you in this online class for the next six weeks and how to, how to handle the course and the best practice for doing well so you don't miss any assignments or you don't miss um, any opportunities to learn from this online course. I wish you the best of luck in this online course and I'll be talking to you soon. Thank you and take care.